6.05 right now and Valentine's Day is just around the corner and Foodland Farms wants to help with some snack and dinner ideas. Dallas on the Verish joins us live from their all in one location with some great ideas. Morning, Dallas. Hey, good morning, everyone. Yes, we are here at the Foodland Farms location at the Ala Moana Center. And Valentine's Day is really right around the corner. It falls on a Tuesday this year, which means this weekend is going to be celebrated along with the big game. And Foodland Farms has got you covered, which is why we have Chef Rebecca, who joins us here. Good Hi. morning. Thanks good for joining morning. us. Thank you so much for having me. So first of all, why are chocolate dipped strawberries just the perfect go to for Valentine's Day? So I think that it's a great gift. I think it's a super easy staple for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. It can be, you know, given for your significant other or even your children. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and it looks like something that's really easy to do as well. But because it's going to be so busy this weekend, maybe someone wants to prepare a little bit in advance. So how far in advance would you like to recommend when it comes to preparing the chocolate strawberries and hiding them? So ideally you want to make it the day of, it's like the most fresh, um, but it can be made up to 48 hours. Um, if you just keep it in an airtight container, uh, I think that's just the best. Okay, cool. Yeah. I already got it mapped out in my head. While that person is busy, go in the kitchen, make some chocolate dipped strawberries, yes, or take them to the big game. That could be something too, Definitely. something that you could really collab with. Now, for those who don't like strawberries, I don't know that many people who don't like strawberries, but what are some other fruits that you'd recommend if you want to do this? You can go crazy and do anything, actually. You can do bananas, you can do grapes. Even if it's not fruits, how about trying bacon? That'd be something fun, right? Yeah. yeah. Have you done that before? Actually, I have done that before, right? Yeah. Bacon, some nuts, chopped nuts on it, super great. That sounds really good. So there is really a wide range to this. Now, what different toppings do we have here? So again, everything is, you can do anything that you like with the best toppings. I have nuts, I have almonds, coconut, pistachios, just to change it up. You can do sprinkles for the young kids. Mm -hmm. And it's really fun to pair these chocolate dipped strawberries with either, I don't know, your favorite beverage or some of the great wine selections that's actually in the background um, at the back of the store, our field. But I want to put one of these together just to show people how easy it is. So you yes, want to take the stem ahead. off first and then you just do a little, oh, uh oh, I think I already messed up. It's okay. Yeah, I so think I took out hold, the stem too early. Yeah, you yeah. want to hold the stem. The stem's going to be good to give you um, the holding, but that's great too. Yeah, you could do the whole thing just like this. And then yep. these are coconut flakes? Those are okay. coconut flakes, yes. Why not? Great. You I know, I did a little messy. Want. It's all good. Okay, this one isn't as, you know what? <laughs> it's so good. Okay, yeah. so edible, it's Th great. This is mine and this is yours. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great, looks yeah, great. Yeah, it does, it still tastes delicious too. Yeah. Well, Rebecca, thank you so much. Is there thank anything you. else that you would like to share with our viewers as far as how to prepare for Valentine's Day? What makes it special? The effort, right? Right, definitely. But if you don't have the time, you definitely can come into any of our stores, grab some goodies, mm -hmm. you know, and then you can share it again with your coworkers, kids, your significant other. And speaking of significant other, you want to give a quick Valentine's Day shout out? Valentine's Day shout out to my wife, Tiffany. We just got married in October. Hey. So yeah, this is a, good, a big one for us this year. Congratulations. Thank and we'll give you more snack and dinner ideas when it comes to Valentine's Day throughout the show. But if you want some more information, you can visit our website at kh12.com. Report over here at the scene, Dallas and Averos, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Well, thank you, Dallas, and congratulations to the newlyweds, their first yep. Valentine's Day as a married couple. Congratulations, and I'll take the Rebecca strawberries <laughs> over Dallas strawberries. I'll take <laughs> either one, because you know what? They both look yummy. <laughs> All right, coming up next, we're working for Hawaii with a live look at your traffic flow at this hour and in your forecast, how long the windy conditions will last. And listen up, pet owners, a big recall on